Are you thinking of selling a residential property after the 6th of April 20? Well, if so, watch on, because there's some big changes. As business accountants, we help business owners and landlords all day long with their tax affairs and their journey. And as a result, these changes that are coming or have already come by the time you're listening to this video in April 2020 are massive and really important to spread the word. So before I explain the changes, if you do like this type of content, click the subscribe button below and you'll be notified whenever we share more videos just like this one. I think Revenue and Customs have many of these things in the background that often people aren't aware of, and this is a big change. So what happened currently is if you're non-resident, and that's for tax purposes, sounds a bit odd, but let's say you're, you've been in Spain for five years, you've kept your UK property there, and as a result, you've sold it uh, at some point and made, it, and made a profit, you actually have 30 days to report online on an online return and pay your tax. Now, many non-residents don't even know this and we help people all the time that have this problem where they suddenly find out later they should have done this and we get it sorted. Now that's been in play for years. Now the change that's happening is it's now the case in the UK as well. So if you sell a residential property, there's some small changes, but if you sell a residential property in the UK and you have to pay capital gains tax on it, then you have to report it online on this new online form and pay any tax due. Now, in order to know if you need to pay any capital gains tax, there is a calculator online that would tell you this, but just to give you a rough example, really, you if you imagine if you took what you've got for it, so let's say you, you got 300 grand for it and it only cost you 200 grand, you got 100 grand gain. Any gain that's over 12,300 pound, if you've got no other disposals in the year of anything, you haven't sold anything else like that in the year, you're gonna have to report, you're gonna have to pay profits on. So using that example with your 100 grand profit, you take 12,300 pound off of your 100 grand profit. What's left is then taxed at 18 or 28% or a combination of the two, depending on what other income you've got. Now, if you Google capital gains tax rates, you might find that there's mention of 10% and 20%, but they don't apply, unfortunately, to residential property. The tax man uh, many years ago has started to squeeze in on landlords, and as a result, yeah, these rates, uh, these higher rates still apply. So that's the bad news. Uh, but yeah, you do now have to report this very, very quickly. Now, if you haven't made a gain where you've had to pay any tax, you don't actually have to report it. And that's different from this non-resident version. If you're non-resident, you have to report it regardless. But for a UK taxpayer, you, a person resident in the UK, so just generally people who live in the UK in the majority of situations, not always, but that's another video, you have to report on this online form. Now, if you already do a tax return, you might also have to put it on the tax return. Sounds weird, doesn't it? You're gonna report early in the year and then you're gonna report no normally later in the year. Now, the, unfortunately, this is the case. So if you've made a profit on that property, you're gonna to need to report it in both, both places. You're gonna to need to report it online on the form within 30 days and you're also gonna to need to report it on your tax return. Previously, it was only a tax return thing. So you actually had ages to do it. You had up to 21 months actually to pay the tax and often report depending on how soon you did it. So that was a long time. Now, cash flow wise, you've got to part with the money pretty quick. So it's, it's worth bearing in mind and also think, if you know this is coming, I'd engage with an accountant as early as possible because if you've never dealt with one before, there's quite a bit of thing you need to do just to, they need to sort of, uh, you need to appoint them, they need to get professional paperwork involved, check your identity, a few other things to, to make sure it's all okay and then get this form signed and get it scheduled into their work. So make sure you give as much notice as you can that this is coming up. So that's really a key important action point for you. So going back to the tax return, it's very likely that if you've already got a tax return here, you're gonna to have to report the sale of the property on that tax return. Now that's whether you made a profit or not. There's some technical rules I won't go into here, but you generally due to the value of the property, you're gonna to need to put it on your tax return. If you've made a loss, that's actually quite a good thing sometimes for a tax purpose, because you can do things like that loss, like offset it against other properties you sell or uh, you know, future future properties, things like that. Um, the one thing to remember is we're talking about things like buy-to-let properties and the like. If you generally, if you sell your house in the UK, you're gonna be exempt via something they call private residence relief, which means, you know, if you've only ever lived in it and it's your main home, you can pretty much ignore everything I've just said. It's it's gonna be completely outside the scope of this. But if, you, uh, if you've, let's say, you lived in it for a bit and then you moved abroad and started renting it out, you're still gonna to have to listen to this video and do these things we're talking about. I suppose it's worth clarifying just for complete peace of mind that if you do have to do this return within 30 days as a UK resident and then you then have to do the tax return, obviously they're not gonna tax you twice, but it's just worth bearing in mind that there are two reporting things that you have to do. So if you are selling a residential property after the 6th of April 2020, make sure you're aware of these rules. And if you're in those kind of groups where there's other landlords and people, please do share this information with them because it's a really critical piece. And of course, with any form that's gonna be late with Revenue and Customs, there are penalties. That's it, if you've liked this video, please do click the subscribe button below to be notified whenever we do more and share it with your networks. And we'll see you in the next one.